Are you going on a Disney cruise? Or are you planning on going on a Disney cruise? You might have questions about the Disney Cruise Line drink of the day. In this video, I'm gonna share everything you need to know about Disney Cruise Line's drink of the day and how you can use it to save money on your Disney cruise. Hi, I'm Jennifer, welcome to Mouse and the Magic. Your place for Disney tips, tricks, information, and inspiration. Today I'm wearing my cruise ears. We are gonna talk Disney Cruise Line drink of the day. What is the drink of the day? The drink of the day is the best value drink special on that day of your Disney cruise. Every day on your cruise, there will be a different drink of the day. In fact, there's two drinks of the day, an alcoholic version and a non-alcoholic version. The alcoholic drink of the day is usually something fruity and rum based, um, the kind of drink that you'd want on a vacation on a cruise. The non-alcoholic drink of the day is usually also fruity and something like a smoothie or blended drink, obviously without alcohol. How much is the drink of the day? You'll find that the drink of the day is the most reasonable price for alcohol on your Disney cruise. The price without the souvenir cup is $5.25 plus taxes plus mandatory 15% gratuity. That brings the price to $6.04 the last time I cruised. How can you get the drink of the day? You can order the drink of the day from any bar on board ship, any of the poolside bars, or from your serving team at any of your rotational restaurants. How does the drink of the day work? You can buy a drink of the day cup. This is a souvenir cup that includes the cost of the cup and the price of the drink of the day. You will see these everywhere, starting at the sailing away party, you'll have waiters carrying them around. If you go to any of the poolside bars, you'll see these featured prominently. This glass doesn't save you money if you take this glass and get it refilled. If you specifically ask for the drink to be served in a regular glass rather than a souvenir glass, you'll be charged for just the price of the drink of the day and not for the additional charge for the souvenir glass. Unless you want a whole bunch of souvenir glasses and then go right ahead. If you prefer drinking out of the souvenir glass, bartenders will be happy to swap you out for a clean one the next time you order a drink. Just bring this one back. The new drink of the day cup. There's been a recent change in the Disney Cruise Line drink of the day souvenir cups. They've changed from the hurricane style souvenir cup to a more tapered souvenir cup. I want to thank my friend Barb over at Disney Cruiser Mom for supplying this picture of the new Disney Cruise Line souvenir cup that she got on one of her recent cruises. Give her a follow over on Instagram if you enjoy Disney Cruise Line content and you want to see pictures from all of her cruises. How do you know what the drink of the day is? ask your server, or you can find the information on your Disney Cruise Line Navigator app. This is one of the reasons that we always recommend downloading the Disney Cruise Line Navigator app before you board the ship. Here's a list of common drinks of the day, both the alcoholic and the non-alcoholic drinks of the day that you might find on your Disney cruise. Let me know which drink you think you'd order in the comments below. My favorite on this list is definitely the Mai Tai. If you found this video helpful, give us a like, and subscribe for more Disney and Disney Cruise Line videos. And now for the insider tip. You can order your Disney drink of the day from any bar on a Disney cruise. This includes the poolside bars or the bars inside the ship. There is a significant difference between the drinks of the day that you will find at these two locations. If you order a drink of the day poolside, you will notice that it comes from a pre-mixed container. When you order a drink of the day from the bar inside the ship, these will be made fresh to order. Our experience has been that the drinks of the day that you order from inside the ship, from the regular bars, as opposed to the pool bars, which have the pre-mixed drinks, are definitely that little bit stronger. Try them both, let me know what you think. If you have any questions about the Disney Cruise Line drink of the day, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for sharing the magic with me. The best thing about bringing a Disney Cruise Line drink of the day souvenir cup home is, I can still pretend that I'm on my Disney cruise even when I'm at home. Mmm, smell that ocean breeze.